Okay. Dumb cat.
What the fuck, cat? I have all this extra space there, but no, you gotta be right the fuck there. Now you see it. And this is the result of buying a product. And have to use their software, and then their software decides to not work in a newer version of Windows. All right. New toys. This is the first new toy. Not really a toy, it's uh, an essential item that a computer needs to run. That's the other one. And it has a rat's nest. This one... I get to make my make up my own rat's nest as I go along. So. And that gets to go in that. It's a little dusty and I only have about... That much air left. Uh, something like that. Holding up pretty well. And I like to use their screws that come with it. And did my cat puke on this or something? I'll deal with that later, I guess. I got that in and I got everything connected that I think needs to be connected. Let's do a check here. Got CPU connector there. Motherboard connector there. CD drive. Who uses CD drives anymore in 2020? My SD card reader. That was a bitch to get to. Gee, I wonder who designed this thing. And then the two drives. I have a SATA SSD and I still have a that piece of shit, that's, that's going away soon, someday. It still works. And then, and then lastly, I have to uh, connect power to the video card, which is not installed at the moment. That was this one right here, GTX 950. But I got a new one, 2070 RTX, super black. Hopefully that will improve my uh, video editing so my video editing program will stop bitching about not having enough video memory. There it is. And, ooh. I know some people have a fetish with this stuff here. Peel the plastic. Oh, it's all over. Okay. I haven't even looked at it yet. Anyway, power's got to be connected to that. Ooh, there it is. Taking up almost the whole case. Ooh, it takes two powers. It takes two power cables. Well, luckily the power supply came with two power cables. So instead of running one, I gotta run two of these motherfuckers. Well, let's hurry this up. I want to play some Warcraft. Correction. I don't have to run two. One's just a single. And then I have one that's split. So I'll just use the splitter. Win-win. Uh, just working on some cable management right now. Yeah, it's kind of nice of them to include these nifty Velcro strips. I don't have to use a zip ties so I hope I can get the lid back on after all this well it's not that much prettier but it'll get the job done I got it all back together not knowing for sure if, every, if everything's actually gonna work but we'll give it a shot Let's go ahead and flip on the main power to the power supply we have lights dog. 
Yeah, let's see if we have power for the whole system. <laughs> oh, gotta be. That's a good sign. Yay. That's definitely a good sign. All right. Time to see how it's going to work now. Hopefully very well. I still need to clean this damn thing, wipe it down or something. And resolution's all fucked up. Yeah, why do drivers have to be so goddamn big these days? Well, with the internet these days, it's really not that much, much of a big deal anymore. Yeah, it is supposed to do that. I thought it was a tie rod because it seems to be loose side to side and uh, didn't seem to move much tilting up and down. But it's not tie rod, it's a uh, ball joint. See it. I get a better look at it once I get the tire off. You see it's all dried and cracked. That's a new ball joint. It came with the new control arm too. And the control and the it's already cracked. The other side looks good. And uh they're riveted on. That doesn't help me much, but I'm gonna have to drill them out, do some drilling and cutting. So wish me luck on that. Alright, I'm gonna start small and move my way up. That doesn't work. Then I'm gonna have to break out either the roto zip or the Dremel. And uh, I don't really don't have a lot of room. I may have to take this. You know what? It's on a jack stand, but I can use the jack to move this up a little bit. There. I really hope I didn't make a bad decision doing that. Let's see where. See if it works. You got, you got the top of the suspension pushing down, so when uh, that comes apart, it's really not going to go anywhere. Let me just go up just a little bit more. Okay. And more. Should do it. I probably should get the Dremel. Those uh, drill bits bits aren't getting any shorter. Oh my fucking god! Finding fucking fuh Yeah. Dremel roto zip drill lots of prying improvising with jack and it's out hope I get the new one in working with this for probably uh, almost two hours now I got it bolted in had to drill the holes bigger which I'm really not too happy about but those bolts needed to fit, so I got them bolted in. I'll tighten them after I get this thing back in there. So,
Get to watch me struggle on that. These ball joints don't bend very move very easily. Angle's going like this, but this is going like that, so that doesn't help me any. Why didn't you think of that before you started? Okay, I think it's moving a little bit, so I can get it in there. Alright, so hopefully it'll just slip right in there. grab the random tool like that's gonna help there we go get in there let's not push on the zerk fitting come on need a little coaxing maybe there we go there i think Holy hell. I never want to fucking do this ever again. Okay. Slide in, slides in. Okay. Pretty sure I had the nut on that side before. Okay. Pretty sure I had all the sockets that I needed out and ready to go. Because I tried them. Good enough. I don't want to play anymore.